Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Speaker, and check this out. This is competitive Team Fortress 2. Well, the stress test, at least, the update will be coming soon enough. I am so excited for it. God, I've been looking forward to this for so long. As I've said in some one of my older Team Fortress 2 videos, I was talking about sniping techniques and everything. That was really training to become a better sniper for competitive. Well, <laughs> I'm playing Soldier right now. <laughs> well, Soldier is my most played class in Team Fortress 2. I have like 300 and something hours in it. And uh, just specifically in soldier so it's it's probably my my main best class still at the moment even though i was training a lot on sniper and uh yeah so i just decided to roll like that to be the the pocket um, soldier for the for lady the medic and uh, yeah it was, it was so much fun really and we absolutely dominated this this match um i don't know what the hell i'm doing i have no idea I'm just instinctively trying to protect my medic, trying to protect the point at all times, take out the most dangerous classes on the enemy team, and that's about it. I don't know any of the metas whatsoever when it comes to competitive. Uh, that sniper I just killed, I mean, I know it's during the warm-up that he seemed pretty dangerous, so I took him out as fast as possible so he doesn't get my medic. Uh, so they're all bunching up over there. I'm gonna try to just, just back off, pretty much. If there's one thing that I learned with Soldier, if there's one like real tip that I can give you, even though I'm nowhere a pro pro soldier whatsoever, I'm 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 a decent you know regular soldier, but for competitive, I, I I'm absolute shit. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But if there's one thing that I can tell you, is that don't rocket jump unnecessarily. <laughs> Just don't. It's it's the it, it eats up so much of your health. Like I think in general it's like 47 health out of the 200 that you have. I mean that's nearly a fourth of your health that's just wasted as soon as you rocket jump especially if you don't have the gunboats it's just a waste of health i know it's a lot of fun and people tend to believe that a good soldier just rocket jumps permanently like all the time uh, permanently god i'm mixing up my english and french so bad these days <laughs> sorry about that but yeah people tend to think that a good soldier rocket jumps like non-stop and it's just not the case at all um a good soldier knows when to rocket jump and when to stay on his feet and uh, right now is like a perfect example of me rocket jumping needlessly see so, yeah, i rocket jumped there almost ate 50 of my health the, the heavy over there chewed up the rest and now look i'm left with eight health and i'm i have no chance like i just can't defend myself against the other soldier so very very pointless it was kind of an unorganized moment there but we're gonna cap the point back again uh, I think that's one of uh, one of the big issues that I have with competitive right now is that I'm extremely inconsistent. I've noticed that I'm either MVP, like with, with like dominations and all that kind of shit, or I I'm like last. <laughs> it makes no sense. Anyway, but um, I don't know. I'm still I'm still getting my bearings. And uh, but all in all, one thing that's for sure is that when the actual full update comes out, I'm gonna be doing this all the goddamn time. I think that uh, that it's really going to be the thing that gets me back into Team Fortress 2. Uh, I have like 1,900 hours in Team Fortress 2, <laughs> which is quite a bit, but not even that much actually compared to a lot of people I know, but uh, still, 1,900 hours, whew, try not to think about that too much. Anyway, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to like double the time that I have in Team Fortress 2, solely in the competitive update, I'm so stoked for it, it's going to be awesome. Try to get a good team together. Uh, the six people that I'm, well, the five people that I'm playing with right now are all friends, are all people that I know uh, from playing mostly on Turbine. And uh, two of them are like long, long time friends on Team Fortress 2, the people that I pretty much started Team Fortress 2 with. So uh, we, we know how we play, we know how to work together pretty well. So uh, I don't know exactly if it was, it was a team on the other side, if they knew each other or not, but uh, we, we wrecked them. We, we got them good. <laughs> so yeah. It was good times. We played a bunch of matches actually. We we won really most of them, to tell you the truth. I mean, we we lost like one or two on Snake Water. Uh, Snake Water. I just, I just hate that map, dude. I really hate it. I, it's just too long, too big, and I, I feel like when you're when you're playing a soldier, you need that height advantage. You need to be able to get the height advantage as well. And on Snake Water, it's like to be able to get a height advantage, you have to sacrifice something else. Otherwise, you're like pretty much shooting rockets uphill. And it, it just sucks, in my opinion. I hate it. Anyway, we're about to win this. And, uh, well, that's that's about it. I don't know what else to say. 
Check out these these sexy skins I got from my rocket launcher. <laughs> I know they're really cheap. It's civilian grade autumn thing, but I added a stranger fire, a festivizer, festivizer or whatever they call it, and uh, a specialized kill streak to it. So it, <laughs> I, I added a whole bunch of shit to a really really uh, worthless weapon. <laughs> Same with the shotgun. <laughs> But no regrets. I love it. it. Looks pretty. I like festive stuff, and and strangers and killstreaks. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. This is gonna wrap it up. Um, haven't been around for the last week and a half because of exams and all kinds of shit. But um, everything should calm down relatively at the moment. So I'll probably make a good amount more videos. I got some stuff coming up, and uh, I hope you do enjoy the Team Fortress 2 videos occasionally too. I, it's one of my favorite games ever. And it's a nice change from the regular survival or Arma and Daisy kind of stuff. So, if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you all real soon. Thanks for watching. Speaker, signing off.